Governor Fubara's judicial panel is a witch hunt. Rivers APC Chair. Tony Okocha, acting chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC in River State, has described the Judicial Commission of Inquiry set up to investigate the burning of local government offices as an attempt to witch hunt. The Judicial Commission of Inquiry to investigate the bombing of local government offices is just a witch hunt. The governor merely wants to use it to deal with his perceived enemies. Okucha told newsmen on Thursday in Abuja. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that Governor Simula Life Uber recently inaugurated the Judicial Commission of Inquiry to investigate the arson, killings and destruction at various local government council secretariats in the state. The seven-member panel, which has one month to conclude its assignment, has Justice Ibiwengi Minakari, Minakiri as chairman and Mrs. Inyingi Brown as secretary. It is expected to investigate the attacks and burning of local government council secretariats on October 7, 2024 shortly after newly elected local government officers were sworn in. Okucha, while faulting the governor's action, said that there was no sincerity in it. The election itself was illegal and thus a nullity. The governor has said that he knows the people that attack the local government secretariats. If he knows the people, why not just ask the police to arrest them? Why is he setting up a judicial commission of inquiry? Kucha said that he would take the probe seriously if it is stretched to include all issues of arson that the state had suffered in the past. If the governor really wants justice, the terms of reference of the commission should be all-inclusive. All issues of bombing should be probed. The House of Assembly bombing should be probed. We also want the bombing of the APC state headquarters to be probed. We do not want selective probes. We want to see genuine search for justice. Let us have a full package that involves all cases of arson. That is the only way the Rivers government can do justice, he said. On whether he would appear before the panel if invited to do so, the coach said he would appear before it if it would probe all incidents of arson in River State. Okucha regretted that the state had become a rivers of trouble and blame the situation on the man who should protect everyone. The governor is supposed to be the chief law officer, but he has failed in that crucial task. We have a valid court judgment that stops the local government election. It is that judgment that stops the police, security agencies and INEC from participating in the elections. Strangely, in spite of it all, the governor went ahead with the elections, so clearly it is a nullity. On the cause of political upheaval in River State, Okucha declared that Fubara is fighting himself. The governor is fighting himself. The APC is only beginning to get strong now. We used to be just a social club as we have never won any election in Rivers. The PDP won the governorship seat in addition to three Senate slots, the 12 seats in the House of Representatives and the 32 State Assembly seats. So it is one party fighting itself. The party was elected to serve, but what we are being served is trouble, he fumed. He said 14 people aspired to, be, aspired to govern the state on the PDP platform, but Fubara the least of them got the tickets and became governor. It means he was favoured over others. People were ignored in his favour and they are angry. Those are the people fighting him, Okocha said. The APC chairman expressed optimism that Fubara's squabble with his party would favour the APC in 2027. Okocha also said that peace would have returned to River State if Fubara had listened to President Bola Tinubu's counsel. When Rivers was about to get burned, President Tinubu stepped in to broker peace. He suggested that all court cases should be withdrawn and the budgets be re- represented before the House of Assembly.
He also suggested that members of the House of Assembly should be given access to state matters. I recall that Fubara agreed and told Mr. President that peace was priceless while terror was senseless, but we got a different thing when we returned home. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel and make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this.